Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Purple Stream Live Sports, and I'm back at you guys again for more NBA news. So, in this video, we're going to be talking about Kyrie Irving real quick. He opted out of his contract today, so that means he won't be uh, accepting his $21 million option from the Boston Celtics. And it's looking like he's going to accept an offer from the Brooklyn Nets. I think he will be visiting teams like the New York Knicks and, and things of that nature, but he's really interested in what the Brooklyn Nets have to offer. And he it looks to seem that he's going that route. Now, of all the things that have happened with Boston this season, I'm not going to be surprised. It's just, to me, it all season we we just heard rumors and things about his teammates him being a bad leader and just to me it just it's not a it's not a good fit for both uh i do know that boston is going to try to keep him they're going to offer him a contract still they're also going to i think if Kyrie resigns which to me is very unlikely they're going to try to acquire anthony davis even though it's a big risk if he do that boston still said they're going to do it anyway so boston is kind of in a flux now, even though I think this is uh, this is good for them, because if they get if Kyrie leaves, he could possibly resign uh, Terry Rozier for a, for a team friendly contract. He can go with this uh, team ball movement thing, like you saw uh, two years ago in the playoffs that worked for them. They got into the Eastern Conference Finals because this team is still really deep. Uh, and without Kyrie dominating the ball, which I'm not saying it's not a bad thing, it's just something that. It's just it is what it is. He just he's a ball dominant point guard. So a lot of times he's gonna have the ball in his hands, he's gonna be dribbling a lot, trying to create shots for himself, and a lot of times others. So the ball kind of sticks to him. So like I said, it is what it is. That's what he does. So if I'm but if I'm Boston in this situation, I don't know if I want to bring him back because I think you know this is a young team, this is a developing team, and as great as Kyrie is, this team. I won't say it, I won't say that they're better without him because it's kind of like the Kevin Durant situation. You know, Kyrie's a superstar. Kevin Durant's a superstar. Golden State without Kevin Durant is is a different team. They're not a better team. They're just different. The Celtics without Kyrie. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. Kyrie without the Boston Celtics without Kyrie are different. They're not a better team. Can they still beat a lot of teams in the West or the East? Yeah, definitely because because they're young, talented, but. Let's not get it twisted because I I don't like the game where we where we think teams are better without a superstar. That's that's not the case. So, but just be on the lookout for that because that's a big development, especially for Boston if they want to get uh, Anthony Davis because you don't want to get him without a without a Kyrie Irving. That would be kind of stupid. So you know, but they're gonna try to resign him. You know that's what Boston's gonna do. They're gonna look for for more options. But to me, uh, it's looking like Kyrie's definitely gonna leave Boston. So. Yeah, just but once again, you guys be on be on the lookout for that. Also, be on the lookout for what what the Lakers do with Anthony Davis. How how the Pelicans trade for Anthony Davis is going to be a big development. Thank you guys for watching this video. This is my uh, NBA news quickly on the Kyrie Irving free agency situation. His free agency is directly impacted because of Kevin Durant's injury. Because those two were believed to be a package deal anywhere that KD or Kyrie went. So just watch out for that as well. Thank you guys for listening to this video. I'll see you guys again soon.